This video is an introduction to Pearson's correlation coefficient. And the symbol for Pearson's correlation coefficient is the letter or pronumeral R. And this is used to measure the strength of the correlation. When we do it, you will get a score, and the score will be anywhere between negative 1 and positive 1. Now, I like to think of the number 1 as meaning 100%, or to be more specific, positive 100% to the right, or negative 100% to the left. And the number 0 kind of represents 0%. When you think of 100%, you think of something being perfect. Okay, whether it's positive or whether it's negative. And that's kind of what we're getting to here. If you get a score of plus 1, which is similar to plus 100%, it means it's going to be a perfect correlation. The plus means it's going to be a perfect positive correlation. And we have an example of one down here. It's perfect because every single point lies on the line of best fit. It's also positive because it's going uphill. So we give this a score of plus one, meaning we've got a perfect correlation here. What about the score of negative one? Well, here's an example here. When I draw the line of best fit, every single point lies on the line and because it's going downhill it's negative so we give it a score of negative one now i'm going to rub out these percentages because when we talk about the correlation coefficient we never use percentages we just use a score between negative one and positive one so what about the score of zero which scatter plot do you think matches that one well it's this one here this one has no correlation. So what we notice is that as we approach our positive one or negative one, we get a really strong correlation. But when we approach the number zero, we get a very weak correlation. Or if we land on zero, we have no correlation at all. So if we look at our scatter plots below, I can see one that looks quite weak, this one here. I can also see that it's positive, it's going uphill. So what correlation coefficient could I give this one? I reckon it could be about a correlation coefficient of 0 0.3, or to be more specific, positive 0 0.3. And I've given it this score because it's quite weak, so it needs to be close to 0, but it needs to be on the positive side. The next scatter plot I have here is negative. But it's very, very strong. The points almost all land on a line. They're not perfect, like the one I have here, but they're very close to perfect. So I'm going to give this a very strong score. Let's give it a score of negative 0.9 for negative because it's going downhill. When we look at this scatter plot, we can see that it's negative and that it's not strong and not really weak either maybe we could say that this is quite a moderate correlation here so I'm going to give this a score of negative 0.5 so halfway between no correlation and being perfect and finally our last one here is positive it's going uphill I would say that the correlation is moderate just like the one over here but this one seems a little better than this one. They seem the, the points seem to be closer to where the line of best fit would be. So I want to give it a score that's slightly better than 0 0.5. So let's give this a score of positive 0 0.65 just to show that the correlation is stronger than the one we had over here. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing Pearson's correlation coefficient. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.